Hello, once again, welcome to Loan Officer Gizmos and Gadgets. This is Frank Ray, your host, and we are brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. I've got a cool product to talk about today. Uh, once again, this is a product that I actually use, and uh, I really, really dig it. Now, this is a company called Altos Research. That's A-L-T-O-S Research. And their website, of course, the link is going to be put down below for you if you're watching us on the Mortgage Marketing Animals Loan Officer Podcast Network. That's loanofficerpodcastnetwork.com. Uh, if you're not there, it's best to watch or listen to these podcasts there uh, because we oftentimes provide you with links or downloads, that type of a thing, right from our, our own platform. So if you're listening to us on iTunes or another platform, just really recommend going to loanofficerpodcastnetwork.com where you see all of our podcasts at Mortgage Marketing Animals, but you can get our links and downloads, et cetera, for anything that we happen to be talking about on our podcast. So with that said, there is a link to Altos Research down below. I'm also going to put an additional link down below for you guys that gives you an example of how this looks and how it works, because I do have an account. Uh, I've, I've gotten it and set it up for my wife who is a real estate broker. And so I've put it together for her and we've already just in the, in the brief time that we've been working with it, have had really great success with it. Uh, and it's just an amazing product. Now, from a loan officer perspective, I think you could really provide a lot of value, not only to your real estate partners, but to your clients with this. It's just very, very cool. So what is it? So uh, we actually had on the loan officer breakfast club, the CEO of Altos Research, uh, Mike Simonson, and uh, we went through the product with him. And basically what it is, is Altos Research keeps track of every single listing nationally. And they track how long it's been on the market, sales price, what it was listed at, what it closed at, all that kind of good stuff. And they take that data nationally and compile it into some pretty comprehensive reports uh, that are absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So uh, what you can do with these reports is obviously make them available to your clients, right? Uh, when when these reports are put together, they're an online report and they're they're pretty pretty beautiful. I I really really like the way they look. Um, I did a report for um, my local city for my wife, and it's. Uh, is kind of stunning. Of course, it has her photos, a lot of contact information. But the cool thing that they've got on there is they've got this meter that it's their proprietary little meter. It's a market indicator. And it lets someone know at a glance if we're in a hot seller's market or if we're cooling off and going into a buyer's market. There's also another chart that's on the report that clearly lists you know, median sales price, uh, median days on the market, current inventory, and things like that. So you can easily convey to anyone you know, what the market is doing, or they can learn about that from you. And right now, it is a hot, hot topic. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Now, as you guys may know, of course, I'm, I'm a co-manager of a mortgage branch, very successful mortgage branch, of, co of course. But I also help my, my mother and, and my wife in their real estate practice. And so uh, last weekend, I was available to help an agent in my mother's office show a couple of properties as she wasn't available to do it. So I met this young millennial couple at a home and showed them two properties. And it, what was interesting to me, guys, was the appetite that these kids had for this information that's provided by Altos Research. And the way that I figured that out was, as I was talking to them and I, and I could see, you know, they're, they're a young couple and they're eager to buy. And I asked them, I said, you know, how long have you guys been looking? And they said over a year. I was like, wow. I said, how many houses have you seen? And they couldn't even think of the number, but the, the husband of the, of the two said at least 70. I was like, my goodness. And um, they were just desperate to buy. And they are, you know, typical first time home buyer, uh, FHA loan, you know, so they're going up against, you know, big time offers that are going down out there and they're, they're really struggling. So point I'm trying to get at is, as I said, well, hey, uh, 
Um, you know, if you keep track of the median days on the market and the inventory, uh, you can tell if things are starting to cool off. And from what I can see in our area, because of my Altos reports, of course, um, that we're kind of starting to see that a little bit. And they were like, really? How do we get a hold of that? We want that. Where do we go? How do we find that? I was, <laughs> they kind of felt bad because, you know, this is my wife's product and it's not the agent that I was showing the property for. They don't have this product. She doesn't have that product. So I was like, uh, well, just talk to your agent about it. You know, talk to Brittany about that. And they said, okay, no problem. But um, there's a big, big appetite for it. And it's the kind of thing that can get, people intrigued to stay in tune with it. Now, these reports, they update once a week. And when somebody visits your report, they have the ability to subscribe. Well, Altels has its own built-in campaigns that you can easily set up. Uh, and it's just kind of the same thing goes out every time. It'll go out every single week and you can you know, manipulate that, et cetera. But basically, when they subscribe, you can adjust your campaign to be you know, something like I did, which is just, hey, here's your weekly report. Um, I think ours is a bi-weekly, bi-weekly report. And then when they open it up and they get the text, yeah, click the link to see the report. Uh, don't forget about this. Don't forget about that. If you're looking to buy or sell, let us know. Great working with you or great, great chatting with you. Uh, give us a call if you need, right? Something very simple. I don't like it to be really cluttered or anything like that, but it's an autoresponder and it automatically goes out. You can also upload other contacts in if you want to do that. So if you've got other people that you want to put on a weekly real estate market report in your local area, um, that's live real-time data updated every week, you can upload them in there as well. I just seem to find that people crave this kind of information. Here's another proof uh, of, of it or proof of concept worth it. Um, I when we first got this Altos report, I just initially kind of set it up. I didn't even have it completely set up yet. I was just like, well, this is interesting. And I got the link for our report for Vacaville, California. And I, and I put it in a Facebook post. You know, I just clicked the link to see what image would pop up. And, you know, they had the cool market indicator gadget image pop up for the Facebook image. And so I, I went ahead and uh, just posted it. I just said, hey, here's a cool market uh, tracker if you're interested. You know, here's the link. And I just posted it to Facebook, didn't think anything of it, right? I thought nothing of it. Um, that was just a couple of weeks ago. And then I came back in and I was going to dig a little deeper into the product, which is what inspired me to do this, this podcast about it. Because from that one simple little post, that was no big deal. I, I didn't even put a little boost behind it or nothing. Um, I had 12, 12 people subscribe to it and, you know, names, phone numbers, emails, you know, they subscribe to this thing. And I'm like, what the, what the, what? And then in there, I thought I saw that, you know, things had gone out, that uh, notifications had gone out the campaign and, and people were clicking on it and opening. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a second. I didn't even put any effort into this thing. And, and, you know, here I am gathering these subscribers to this, which now if you think about it, um, someone who's subscribing to something like this is, I, you know, I don't think that just random people who aren't, tuned in to real estate for some reason would subscribe to this. I don't, I don't believe that. I, I think that people that have subscribed to ours are gotta be people that are like really interested in what's going on now. So these could be buyers. These could be sellers. I don't know, but uh, I'm sure it's probably both, <laughs> but um, it just really worked easily for me. And so anyway, we're now we're going to put a little, put a little money behind it just a little bit and market it within our market area just to see what we can gather. And then, of course, we're going to go deep with the, with the leads as they come in and interact with them and see if we can pull something out of this. But I'm just really impressed with how the market data looks. I'm impressed with the simplicity and the ease of use of the product. Um, this is certainly good for a real estate agent, but I'm telling you, as a mortgage originator, this is a killer product because you know, you're going to be the brains behind the market. You're going to be the person that's got the eyeballs of people because you know where the market's going. And then you'll be able to, from there, uh, be able to pull clients out and maybe refer them over to your referral partners. So another th thing that I could see a, an originator doing with this is letting their referral partners send, let your referral partners send your market report out to their clients because 
the data that's on the report is not easily accessible by the average everyday consumer. In fact, it's really hard to find what's the median days on the market. You know, what, what is it? You can't find that as a consumer. Very difficult, right? What's the current single family residence count in Vacaville, California? You can't find that as a, as a consumer. I mean, you could do a Zillow search or something like that, but you don't know how accurate that is. But more importantly, is the market cooling or heating up? That's what this report is really geared toward. And that's the hot topic right now. You know, there's a lot of people who are considering selling we, on the loan officer breakfast club. We just had a, a, um, uh, a show where one of the stories that I shared was that, uh, that millennials and gen Z or gen X, I can't remember. Um, but the two young groups of people that we have right now, the, the, the home buyer, home seller people, uh, they're saying that those who own homes in those two categories or demographic, um, uh, categories they they are planning on selling within the next 12 months and here's what's going on guys i think there is pent up demand for selling i think people are waiting to, to try and figure out what's the peak you know am i at the top and this report helps them understand that because if they can see it starting to cool then you're at the top it's time to sell and so you could use this report even as an originator uh, in your marketing efforts to have people tune in to where the market is on a weekly basis and understand, hey, when I see the median days on the market start to rise and inventory start to rise, I, I know that I'm, I'm probably peaking. We're starting to cool off. Or if I see that meter start to decrease from the hot seller's market over to the buyer's market, I know we're starting to cool off. It's probably time to sell. So, a uh, very, very cool product. Let's get into pricing uh, and um, some other things right after this quick message. Hey, thanks for joining us today here at Loan Officer Gizmos and Gadgets. I'd also like to invite you to Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Loan Officer Breakfast Club is a free daily live coaching Zoom call that's fully interactive. It's at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Thursday. Just go to LoanOfficerBreakfastClub.com to register. Again, that's LoanOfficerBreakfastClub.com. We have originators of every experience level there. It is absolutely amazing, and I hope to see you there soon. Okay, we are back at Loan Officer Gizmos and Gadgets. Glad to have you here. Of course, provided by the Mortgage Marketing Animals, we were talking about Altos Research. Um, there is a link down below if you're on the Mortgage Marketing Animals Loan Officer Podcast Network.com. If not, I will tell you what it is. It's altos.re, A L T O S dot R E. Now, I have no affiliation with, with this company. I'm not making any money. Marketing Animals isn't doing anything like that. We're just sharing what we think is really, really cool here on Loan Officer Gizmos and Gadgets. So let's talk about pricing on this product. Um, if you're just an individual professional, um, you get up to 10 city reports that you can do and uh, up to a thousand contacts that can come in. Um, it's got integrations, live training, things like that. It's, it's a decent price. I think it's pretty good for what you're, for what you're getting. I, I'm okay with it. I, I'm, I'm good with it. And I mean, I'm paying for it. I pay for it. I'm not getting it for free. Um, and I really enjoy it. I think it's really a cool product. Uh, if you want to get a team, though, where you can have up to three users. So why would I do this as an originator? Well, maybe three of us in the office want to, want to try it out, right? Something like that. Or maybe I get it and then I give an account to my top two realtor partners, right? Maybe something like that. That's $149 a month, up to 5,000 contacts. And then they have what they call a small office, which is $349 a month, but you can add 10 users. So again, maybe I've got a small mortgage company or a, a mortgage brokerage, and I've got a handful of guys, and we all want to have this, that $349 option might be well. Or you may want to uh, get this as an originator, possibly, and you know throw nine of your favorite real estate agents on this. And so they all get an account. But I would definitely, and this is kind of where I want to want to go with this. Um, I would definitely, if I, if you got this, the way that I could see using it and doing well with it is by doing some sort of advertising with it. And I'll even add down below, uh, again, if you're watching us on the Loan Officer Podcast Network for Mortgage Marketing Animals, that's loanofficerpodcastnetwork.com. 
I'll even put down below uh, the image that I'm using for my wife, which we I literally just made today. We're, we're literally launching it today as far as putting some money behind it in our area to see what we can dig up. But I know it'll do well. But that's how I would use this is put a little money behind it, not even a lot, um, and just get it out there to whet the appetite of people that are thinking, is, am I peaking? How can I track the market? And when you see the image that I put together, you'll get the idea. I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a good idea. Well, at least I think it's a good idea. We'll see, <laughs> right? The proof's in the pudding. We'll, we'll find out uh, when, when it actually goes down. But uh, I could see, we did a, a podcast on ad traffic a couple of weeks ago, ad traffic, where it's the super simple way of getting your posts on Facebook and Instagram seen by a lot of people and optimized for clicks, et cetera. I could see combining this with that and digging up a bunch of leads. Um, that that could be really, really good. That's what I think. Um, it's it's a cool product, man. If you go to Altos Research, which is actually Altos, A-L-T-O-S dot R-E, not dot com, dot R-E. You go there, you can get a quick demo from these guys. Uh, let them know we sent you over there. We don't get anything for it. I just want them to know that... Um, Oh, actually, I got that. That's wrong. They, you will get a discount. You'll get your first 30 days free. I'll put this down below as well. If you use the code, the discount code breakfast, and it's all lowercase breakfast for Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Uh, there is a little uh, a 30 day free uh, trial period there if you do that. And I know you'll love it. So it's breakfast, small letter B uh, breakfast will get you. Uh, your 30 days for free. So, you know, I, I think this thing is uh, super cool. I'm, I'm using it. I'm a fan. Um, I've already achieved a little success with it. And here's the truth, man. I look at it all the time. <laughs> like uh, I, I look at it just to see where the market is. Like, how are you doing? What's our median days on the market? I'm just curious. Right. So I know if I'm interested in it, there's a lot of other data junkies out there that are interested in it. That are with that are in the real estate market, and this is the perfect, perfect thing to get in front of their face, um, and to find a way to stay in touch with those guys. So, with that, I think I will go ahead and get on out of here. I super appreciate you tuning and listening here at the Loan Officer Gizmos and Gadgets podcast. It's a pleasure to do this, and it, um, it's a lot of fun, and I'm learning a lot too by doing this. Um, so, really appreciate you being here. Don't forget. If you want to stay tuned into what retreats we have coming up or what events we have coming up with the Mortgage Marketing Animals, uh, just go to uh, mastermindretreats.com. That's mastermindretreats.com. You can go there and see what events we've got coming up. I know there's one in Florida, but I might be sold out. I'm pretty sure it is. But we do have one coming up in a couple of months in beautiful Lake Tahoe. Uh, California slash Nevada. I don't know what side it'll be on, but it's uh, Lake Tahoe out here on the West Coast. So we'd love to see you at that two-day event. That would be really, really great. So with that, I'm going to get on out of here. You guys have a fabulous, fabulous day, and we'll see you next week here on Loan Officer Gizmos and Gadgets. See ya! 